Life is Big Brother. Hi, I'm Alona from Pitcam, and we're in the bathroom again with the band Inwell. Hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, guys? You want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Sean, and I sing. How you doing? I'm Mike. I play drums. I'm Pete, and I play bass. So you guys played a new song from the album that's supposed to be coming out, right? Indeed. Yes. We played a couple. Uh, I don't know what they're called at this moment. We haven't fully named them yet, but uh, we have an album coming out in March, or probably April, called Punishment, through Media Skater Records. What up, B? You want to give us any secrets about it? Like maybe the artwork or any special songs that you may put on there? About the lyrics? Uh, well, we got uh, the artwork is done by Ryan Eyestone, who did our last record as well, Consequences. And he's just an amazing artist, keeps getting better, and I uh, love working with him. It's kind of somewhat based upon the imagery from Consequences. It's like the next take on it. I don't know. Sickest dude, <laughs> sickest dude ever yeah. mixing it. Oh yeah, we Steve got Steve Evans. Steve Evans. The business. His uh, Mixie album, who's one of our favorite producers ever. Didn't he do a lot of other bands too? Like, everybody. Everybody. He, did, yeah. everybody. he did all the Dillinger Escape Plan every stuff. Uh, newer, Every Time I Die, Poison the Well, Hate Turmoil, wow. Hate Breed, Earth Crisis, Snap Fuse, classic records. Glass draw. So I guess you would be happy when the secret record comes out. So yeah, no, can't definitely wait. proud of it. Are you guys gonna do a big tour then to promote it or? Yeah, hopefully. Um, we don't have anything ready to announce at the moment right now, but when the album comes out, we'll be uh, be heading out for probably the better part of 2011. That's a year it is, right? Yeah. I thought it was 2010. <laughs> So yeah, no, we'll be uh, is it? we'll be out all of 2011. Hopefully, uh, yeah, there. today's Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Friday. I don't know what's going on. Right uh, um, yeah, hopefully you get back over here by end of summer. Cool. So, so who's the most mature and immature guy in the band? Jesus. Probably no, um, <laughs> Pete would probably be the most mature and that. immature in one. Because all of us are just floating in the gutter. Fair enough, I'll take but it. But Danny's pretty, pretty mature. He, he slash he's alright. So. He's alright. I, like, I like to think I walk the line of immaturity. Yeah. Of immaturity, there he is. Do you guys have a secret obsession like that not many people know about? Oh, wow. Well, like one, those. one band said Miley Cyrus, so. True Blood? Mm, I'll, I'll be open. Uh, there's plenty of these. We can think of some shit. Well, yeah. weed. It's my <laughs> secret obsession. This guy likes feet. <laughs> and, you know, he's probably the biggest what? creep in the band as well. <laughs> this is Pete. He's the newest guy, but he's been in the band for a while. And oh, he's probably the most lucratively, <laughs> criminally insane member. But he holds it together pretty well. Fair enough. I'm and I just like feet. <laughs> and he likes feet. Apparently. Why well, he said you're a creep? No, I'm kidding. No, I'm not a creep, all right? Contrary to belief. Yeah, not we'll, a creep. we'll see, right? Well, I was going to ask what's the cheesiest pickup line you've ever used. Uh, or like in high school, what? maybe. It just hmm. doesn't have to be small, but. Any, well, I'll anything that comes up, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the cheesiest, you cheesiest I've heard <laughs> is, uh, friend, I'll just say it's you for, you know, for argument's sake. <laughs> Walked up, sitting in a bar, karaoke bar in the city, and a uh, girl walks by and he goes, Hey, uh, didn't we go to different high schools together? <laughs> totally, girl was dumbfounded. So, what? <laughs> and uh, her boyfriend was standing right there, and he proceeded to take you know steps further. <laughs> didn't happen. I think your best pickup line is, uh, got any weed? <laughs> it's probably the best pickup line. Well, if I'm looking for sketchy dudes. <laughs> I know one you could use. You ask, uh, do you have a mirror in your pants? And she'll say no, because I can see myself in them. <laughs> they go, um, oh, I can't think of a good one now. I'm trying to think of a good one. Let me check your tag. That's what I thought. Made in heaven. Uh, <laughs> oh, right? See? Yeah, that made you good. sick. Yeah. But you were interested in saying, <laughs> are, your, are your legs tired? 
Because you've been running through my mind all day. Yeah, okay. That's probably the worst. Did you leave alone at first sight? No. The line already didn't work. Never mind. Oh. Well, that makes me want to crumble. I had one. I'm not even going to tell it now. I'm just going to let that one be What is it? That's the last one. Well, now I'm just uncomfortable. Now it just got awkward. Yeah. We were Save trying to keep it on awkward, but sorry, yeah. happened. Right. Saves me. <laughs> oh. All right. What do you uh, think about fans who think you guys are gods? Like, how do you deal with? Well, you know, people that are just a bit obsessed with like a band, and they just like, actually oh, have you yeah. get hell. Other than yeah. Austria, those those dudes are just like you guys, are just a complete inspiration for our band. And literally, like, I just want to like, why oh, we're a bunch of fucking jerks from New York. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, I just that, that's cool. like that's the like coolest thing ever because yeah, like that, that. the bands we grew up, you know, loving like fucking like Pantera, Meshuggah, Poison fucking Well, Poison Well, great bands that we all saw when we were young teens. It's like you just see them as something more than you know regular dudes, and then end up going on tour and meeting a bunch of your favorite bands, and it's like everyone is just a human trying to trying to have fun, trying to do the same thing. So those kids, it's cool. I mean, shit. The best thing you could do is just. I, I, it doesn't about feel it. real when people like love your band because it's like oh, we're just we're just dicks. But you know. <laughs> the best thing you do is just be human about it and be like, thank you because we felt the same way. Be human about it. Be human. Yeah. Don't be inhuman about it. Straighten out the point on your beard. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Have you had any like um, obsessive fans? Like, how far has a fan gone? Like. Girls, or I don't know, or have they like tried to find Other out where you're going cookies, to? The... Nothing really crazy. <laughs> no, we, have, we have a couple fans with tattoos, but that's that's about it, you know. Yeah. So one girl Texas bakes us cookies every time we're there, and it's awesome. I think we're crazier than any of our fans <laughs> ever <laughs> attempt to be. I, so. If you want to stay at your house when we're on tour, that's fine with me. Like, <laughs> that's crazy that's enough. That's crazy enough. Like, you don't even know. Yeah, that's good. Like, if, if you let us stay at your house, these guys are going to try to fuck your mom. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> Wow. It's so <laughs> aggressive. Far from the truth, bro. It's so aggressive. Damn. God, I thought you didn't want to make this interview awkward. I'm kidding. You're just making him look really bad. Yeah. That was the plan going into this interview. Yeah, you didn't want to be in the third place. So. <laughs> That's true. We didn't want to let him because I thought this interview was about tattoos. And if I could take a sidestep, he has some of the greatest tattoos ever. He's got a Godsmack tattoo on his back and a tiny little tattoo on the inside of his arm that says pain from when he was a cyber goth. You know I like UFO Google. pants, I wore long chains, I dyed my hair green, and I loved Monster Man. Okay? I, I think it's not the cyber goth. They're kind of I'm just saying, I like, I like Monster Man. I'm not saying they were cyber goth. <laughs> Dick. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up? We're Endwell, and you're watching Behind the Ink on Pit Cam TV. Thanks. Yahtzee. I want to I want to say what up. Did you say Yahtzee or no? Yeah, Yahtzee. Yahtzee. What's not? Yo, check out. We got a few people. Want you to check out Knuckle Up, Hardcore from New Jersey. They have a new album coming out on Media Scare. Check out Lionheart, Ghost Inside, D's Nuts, The Amity Affliction, Fucking Muir is a new album coming out. Can't think of any other bands that we even know because I'm ripped. Architects. They have a new album. They yep, amazing album. They did that with Steve Evitz as well. Uh, Shit. Lower than Atlantis. We haven't oh, no, actually no, haven't heard no. them. Your demise. Yeah. Your, Your demise. Killing it. Taking over. Uh, Who yeah. Else? Check that yeah. shit out. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>